Dan Willis here on behalf of YourBadCreditCard.net and we're talking about how to clean up your credit in five simple steps. The very first step is you must get updated and current copies of your credit reports. This is for a few reasons, but typically there's going to be different information on each one of your three major credit reports. And in order to clean up your credit reports, you have to know what items you're going to have to dispute directly with the credit bureaus. So these three separate files about you you really need to make sure you have updated and current copies. Uh, just on a side, if you dispute the wrong credit bureau, from the feedback we've heard, you could be placed on a, for lack of a better word, a blacklist where this credit bureau is going to ignore all your future credit bureau disputes. And I'll give you an example of how this happens here in just a moment. But the first step is to get updated and current copies of all three of your credit reports. The second step is to go over each one of these three credit reports and identify, just go ahead and circle what items you want to have removed. Uh, the third step is the Fair Credit Reporting Act. This federal law that was passed by Congress way back in 1970 gives you the right to dispute any item, any item, you believe to be incorrect. You're never going to face any legal consequences, any civil liabilities for disputing information on your credit report. A lot of folks are concerned about what items they can and cannot dispute. The bottom line, the laws say any item you believe to be incorrect. The fourth step is actually filing your dispute. Now, with each one of your credit reports, you have three, three separate credit reports. Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Let's say you have a charge-off credit card on all three of those credit reports. That's going to require you to send three separate disputes. That means you're going to have to dispute TransUnion, you're also going to have to dispute Experian, and you're also going to have to dispute Equifax. If, for some happenstances, this is what we were talking about in the beginning, if this wasn't on your TransUnion credit report, and you sent a dispute letter to TransUnion for an item that's actually not on your credit report, you know, they can't do anything with it, and they're likely, rumors have it, that they will ignore your future dispute attempts. Frequently, when the credit bureaus find your dispute valid and investigate it, they're going to contact the company, business, or lender that originally reported that negative credit about you, and they're going to ask them to verify the account. It is very common for these lenders and businesses to not verify your accounts. On the rare, well, let's, if your account isn't verified, it must be removed from your credit report. That's according to federal law. So if the credit bureaus are unable to verify your account, it has to be removed from your credit report. Uh, if your item happens to be verified, then you should contact that company. So using the, the earlier example with a credit card that's been charged off, if you're disputing your TransUnion credit report and TransUnion contacts the credit card company that charged off your credit card and they verify that debt, they say, yes, you know, this is a legitimate debt keep it on his credit report or keep it on their credit report, then your other option to remove this item is to contact that credit card company directly or more likely the collection agency and negotiate with them to pay much less than what they claim you owe them. You can always negotiate for a much lower settlement payment, but in exchange for your payment, you must get them to agree to either one, stop reporting your account information, or two, go ahead and remove it from your credit report. Uh, frequently, if they just stop reporting your account information, then you can get it removed. What you want to avoid, though, is just paying that debt. If you just pay it, you're still going to be stuck with bad credit. The credit card charge off or the collection and collection item on your credit report will be changed to a paid collection, which is still a very damaging item to have on your credit report, and it will do very little to improve your credit score. Soon.